I will come back. Uh, we'll make the other part of um, some shell. And screencast keys are on now. Uh, that is on the aisle on the left down part. That is this house. Looks like our house before nearly. And there is a tower. This tower that we built too. That's the top of the tower. Many pictures from there. And then we have at the end hopefully that. And it, we see here the windows um, the same as in the house we did before. And the roof is th the same. Uh, so we can take here our roof from the other scene, this outliners and the windows, but we change them a little. And that is so when you have opened one Blender project and open the other Blender project too, then you can copy things from one to the other. So we have here the new one, there, and here we have the old one. And we want to copy here this uh, roof from the house, so control C. We go in here and say control V. And there is our roof. Then we want to have the windows there and the edges. So that are the edges there. So control C, click here, control V. That we make with all the uh, edges there. So then I want one of these windows there. So control C, control V. So we have the window there and one of the large one. Don't know there's an instance. We can copy that so or we must take the original. No, we can take that one. But here we can't change anything because it is an instance. So we go here back to our uh, original layer, that is this layer 2, I think. Let's look. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that is it. Good, then we mark that all. And Control C. Control V. Yeah, there we have it. Good. And a window I copy to and this here too. Control C, Control V. Good, so we have all copied that we need. So I close the uh, old project and go here to our new project I call it Tower House 1 Blender and uh, yeah so I make that here much greater than we see some so that here I don't know what it is oh. it is a grouped one ah, we will see don't worry be happy Good, uh, so we have that. Uh, at first we want to make this uh, round stuff there. So that there. So we add mesh circle, scale down. Extrude and scale a little. Then I extrude again to the top and scale a little. 
then we see there is a crater one, so extrude and scale more. Then we extrude again and scale a little. Extrude again, scale more. Extrude again, bring there. Extrude again, bring it in the middle, scale up. Extrude again and scale down. Extrude again, scale down. Extrude again and scale up. Extrude and scale smaller. And extrude and scale very small. So that should be that uh, roof there. So we can take here smooth on it. Then we can bring here a loop down to such like that. Good. You see here uh, two steps under them. So we make them by holding the last one X root scale scaled a little bit smaller, extrude downward and extrude scale again and extrude downward. So that was that. I make that a little bit bigger so scale such like that. Then we make the last part down there. So extrude scale again a little only and extrude down. So that is the whole thing there. We see we cut here a door in and we need here loops control R make the loop to the top and to the down for the shading. Good. Then we won't cut the door in, so we have to make a loop in there, such like there, and then we delete here to of these edges, X edges, and then we have the hole in. Good. Then we see these little things that's like from our roof, this uh, things, but only a hole in. So we simply take from the roof here one of them, Shift D. Uh, and P to separate the selection. Now we have that. We need only one of them, so we can X delete this one and the window itself too. And we get this thing, but that we don't need. So we can delete that here, that our rests and set the origin to geometry so we have that and bring that to our tower grabbing and we see there is that we have that and here should be only a hole so we can delete here this window uh, make it with background But without that here, that's so tricky stuff. not the things that should stand there. X words. Yes, nearly good. So left is that. Yeah, and the 
is a little cross over it. And a little bit round, it was nice. So we get here a loop on the side and um, on this side too. Maybe a little bit higher, I think, or the letter the seal. Then we take these two points, control B for the bevel. But we have to make them here extrude and bring them into. Now we can maybe bevel control B. Wow. Spooky. So we go here, object, apply rotation scale, set the origin to geometry, and we uh, we remove doubles and recalculate that all. So now normally that must go with the bevel. Control B. Oh, really heavy. Then we make it one for one. So we have that round hole there. And I think where I have it there. Uh, it can all in all build a build scaled in the set, so we have a smaller one, such like that, and scale that all in all smaller, such like that, and then we bring it onto. Let's look, there it is. Search like that, and we make four of them. So Shift D, bring it there. Rotate set 180 and bring it in. And Shift D, bring it there. Rotate set minus 90. Bring it there. And shift D, rotate set 180 and bring it in there. Good. Look from top. See this too much more in the middle. And that a little bit to left. So we join them together. Oh, we can do it here too. So we have that. Then we need the roof tiles there, so we can, must look how far they go, down under here, control R, make a loop in, scale down, from there should be a loop, so we mark seam that, uh, down to that here. Mark seam that and then a uh, part there. Mark seam good. Then the down part, and we have here different materials. So we take that here, mark seam, and that here, mark seam. So then we can have an unwrap there, but before we must apply rotation scale, set the origin to geometry, shift D, make a secure copy, file, save. Good. So now we can take here an unwrap. Uh, we see what we got there. The <laughs> roof looks very awful, so we make here the node editor, bring it there by the side, and to hide the panel, 
here we take our UV image editor and now we look what is what so we mark the the roof itself and we see that is our roof or it should be <laughs> the roof so T we take here misc UV squares that is that add-on that we installed last time and go here to that point and that will be uh, yeah straight and now we can rotate that 180 degrees and then it flows from up to down good so we have that then we need this wall that's other than our other walls uh, so we don't need I must look little roof class we don't need so we delete that white color window we don't need that roof side panels we don't need that we make their wooden stuff there so I delete that the little roof we can let and the blue should be later a wooden material good so but we need a uh, stone material to two uh, one for them and one for the stones and at later a door so we look what we get um, textures I think that here is probably that what we need so we simply copy that and bring that into our folder the texture folder that is so Michelle and I call it tower one but it's eagle then it comes in texture so we plug it in there and this one we have also that we made on the tower there so <coughs> we give you a plus and give a new name we call it tower wall and give them a principal shader we give them that image we open it we go to the texture folder and open up the texture there and then we say them where should that be that is here and there and I think the last one too yeah so control plus and tower wall sign so what we see here that is too big so we need here the texture coordinates and the mapping so add input texture coordinates and the vector mapping then we connect the UV with the vector click on texture and connect vector with vector from the image now we can control the size there so we take point 0.2 and here point 0.2 by the scale and you see that looks better little bit great so we go here to point one to point one and that nearly looks like it should we give them that 3d effect by displacement and add the converter math converter and go here to multiply and then we go here down to 003 and then we have a little 3d effect on it. Good. Fire. Save. Uh, now we want to make it a stone material too. So plus tower stone material too. It should be a principal shader. It should have an image and it should be in our texture folder and it should be that material there so then we take the 
roughness high. It's still. Oh, we've forgotten that by the tower wall. We must set the roughness high too. So, that's better. Uh, tower stone material. There we need the mapping tool. So we can copy that from tower wall and take here the mapping and the texture coordinates. Control C to copy. Go to the tower stone to material and control V to input. So we don't need to make it all the time new. Now we must apply that to them. So we take this both and say here sign and then we have the material on and we also want it here down and there. So sign. So that was the first step. Here only uh, needs this uh, wall bricks there. So we push that move to second layer. Here that should be another color. So we give them here plus and call it um, tower tip. Um, and give them a um, principal shader and take here the pipette then we click here on the color here's the pipette and catch this gray something else there yeah this color and that should be the color and then we simply plug them there so we get here a loop and then control plus as long as we will change that and then the sign. Wow, <laughs> that was the wrong one. Where is our great stuff there? Power tip. So we give you a plus and tower tip a sign. But it don't should be so classy so we give them much roughness and when you ask me it is to lighten so we make it a little darker good so we have done this first tower pile save as new number house to one save as good then uh, we have to put in the stones there we get them here by copying that's that one so shift D bring it there scale down and bring them to both sides first and here we rotate set a little to make it on floating here we have to rotate set 180 to turn it around and then also rotate set with the leaning so we have that was there too and only need here a big one and in this case we make it simple we take here a big one shift d place it there and row 
rotate them in the set that he goes in front and shoot at all and then we take this side and bring them to the other and give here a smart UV project on it and we have it nearly only need here a little bit bending so we can get that here and rotate set and bring it on to and the same on the other side get that uh, go back and rotate that so we have that now only needs a door there so um, we take here from the back side of the tower this three guys there and shift D copy them and so we have here the door rotate set 180 you see it isn't rotate set a little then we have that and now we only need the door there so at first we bring that a little up then we mark that C and here the side of the door mark C and the top line of the door and the side of the door mark C so um, now we can take here this uh, door and UV from view and plus give them here material called door and sign we don't have that door in the moment file save so I go look for the door So an old wooden door, a little bit too new I think, but not so bad. That isn't easy, I look for other ones, they are too destroyed. I think that is maybe too old. Yeah, it's possible, but don't know if that's the right one. Hmm. So, what do we do? That one looks new. I must look there what for door they I have with great things there, okay. So with great things on the side doors maybe there there is such like that. Yes, and we take only one for the Okay. So we copy them, they are from texture.com, you know that. And I copy that now in our texture folder. Mm -hmm. And the input. So we have that there. Then we say here door material should be principal shader. Should have image texture, open it up, go to our texture folder, get this door there, then we open up here the door, 
and then we click the door itself and we see it is there and now we can scale it here to a size that fits we only want to have it in this size like one of the doors is so scale X and then we have that here only we have to do is to place here this um, uh, roughness higher and from tower wall we need this mapping and this texture coordinates control C to copy go to door material control V to put in connect the vector and then we go to one two one so that nearly looks good yeah for start in UK good we done that file save uh, we must set up here the lights and all because here we don't have that that was in the other project there so lamp should be sun with hard shadow so zero zero three and should cast uh, shadows use nodes should have a strange of six and should be a little light yellow and the outer rim there should have uh, use nodes of background and it should be an environment texture that we take there and we open up that from our texture folder there is our HDR and that gives the light from the outside there that is all correct so file save as and give them new number file save and we take a quick render here I don't know why we go back to medium point so here and we render that past render and we see a nice tower little nice tower good uh, we done enough for that day um, next time we make then the rest of this tower there and the house too that comes also there so good uh, you can take here uh, uh, yeah, screenshot and then you have that picture here simply and can input that in blender so you have the same like I see there okay file save we see us in the next tutorial so bye